Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm fooling around with MDF and paint again. There's probably not going to be a whole lot of talking in this video. I'm just going to show you, you know, how I did it and maybe you'll get some ideas from that and make your own. Here's the things I used to make this. I used some white paint. This is all craft acrylic paint, cheap stuff. Some black paint. I also used a little bit of purple and a little bit of green. I applied all of these paints using this really cheap TimberTech airbrush. It was only $28 and I bought it on Amazon and I'll put a link down below. I highly recommend when you do one of these kind of projects using paints where you're going to be burning off different layers, trying to get to different colors that you use one of these test grids to find out what the best power settings are going to be for your laser engraver. Here's the basic supplies you're going to need to prepare your MDF for painting. First of all, you're going to need some MDF. You're going to need an old rag, some gloves, and a sanding sealer, or you could even use some shellac. You're going to want to get in all the pets you can on your shop cat before you start or she's going to want to get right in the middle of it and get hair everywhere. This part of the process is pretty straightforward. You're going to want to stir up your shellac or your sanding sealer, whichever you're using. Use your rag, wear some gloves and start applying it to the surface. I apply it to the edges and both sides just so I don't get any uh, humidity issues down the road. After you've applied several coats of the sanding sealer you're going to want to come back now and very lightly sand it with some medium fine sandpaper. You don't want to go too hard on here. You're just trying to take down any of the high points that might have happened where the uh, sanding sealer might have gooped up a little bit. That way you can have a nice smooth surface to paint on. And now that our MDF is sealed and ready to be painted, we're going to apply our first base coat of white. And when I did this, I kept uh, putting coats until I couldn't see any MDF at all, until I had a nice, even, solid white color. And it did take about three or four coats to get it to that point. Now that I have the white paint applied and it's dried, what I did was I made this little jig to hold my MDF. I cut it out on my laser. And then I'm going to use some mass that I also cut out on the laser to block off areas that I don't want to get paint on. I wasn't too particularly uh, accurate about this and I didn't even really make the mass stick down that much. I just kind of weighted it down with some nuts and bolts and different things I had around and a couple pieces of tape. And now that I have the mask down, I'm going to apply my purple paint first. I did it basically the same th same way I did it as the white. I just kept going over it until the purple was a solid purple and I couldn't see white anymore underneath it. It also took about three or four coats. And this is what it looked like after applying the purple. Next, I put a mask on that will block out all the purple areas that I just painted, and then I go over it with the green 
the same exact thing again it took about three or four coats until it was a solid color and i couldn't see the under underneath white any longer Here is what it looks like after both coats of paint have been applied. And as you can see by the uh, outline and everything, it's not all that accurate, but it still comes out pretty darn good in the end. Now is when I apply the black. And I just paint right over the top of everything. And the same exact thing as all the other layers. I put enough coats on it until I could no longer see any other colors underneath the black. I think it also took about three or four coats. Here's what it looks like after it's been completely painted and the final black top coat has been applied. And the next step is just to put it in the laser and engrave the art. Now that it's done engraving, I'm going to take one of these really fine little paint brushes and I'm going to dust off all the soot and debris that was left behind during the engraving process. And this is what it looks like after it's been completely cleaned off and I sprayed on a couple of clear coats as well. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. I hope that uh, it inspired some people out there to get creative and make their own and maybe try some paints out. It's cheap. It's fun. And until next time, hope you take care.